Hi, it's Louise at Spiral Bright Insight. Um, I've not done one of these energy check-in videos for a little while, but um, it's, uh, yeah, it's a strange kind of day. So I thought I'd just come on and share how I'm feeling and maybe um, sort of reflect some of the astrology um, that we're sort of working through. Now, I have done my video about the new moon in Cancer, which is what we're building up to right now. Um, so pop and watch that if you've not seen it, because that goes into a lot of depth about the energy. But, you know, we are working with a lot of water right now. I'm just looking at the chart. Um, you know, we've got the sun and the moon and Venus are both in Cancer. We've got Saturn and Neptune are both retrograding in Pisces. So um, they've just turned retrograde sort of within the last few days. So they're still really strong, their energy. And, you know, Cancer is the sign of coming within. It's very much about coming home to the self, to connecting with that inner sanctuary, that inner feeling of safety, that inner light. And when we've got retrograde planets, especially the outer ones, that is also about coming within, being introspective, connecting with sort of your inner self, your inner truth. So there's a real sort of invitation. In fact, it's not even an invitation. It seems non-negotiable to come within and to find that stillness because, you know, I'm in the UK. There is a huge amount of um, noise out there um, today, yesterday, it's going to be ongoing for a few days, I expect, because of the elections, lots of politics, lots of division again, you know, it's all about division, 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 and, you know, parties, and yeah, it's quite tiring, <laughs> um, but, you know, this Cancer New Moon feels a really, really emotional one. It's very sensitive, it's very intuitive, and what came through, um, to me sort of just this morning um a well first of all i'm working on somebody's chart who is basically she's a cosmic mother archetype she's got loads of cancer um and yeah the the timing of it as always it always surprises me even though i don't know why it should because it's just like it happens so often not to be a coincidence but um yeah so I'm kind of in this energy um but I connected to sort of Mother Mary's energy this morning and what I was sort of shown was that um we are undergoing with this new moon and with the Sirius um Stargate which is also happening at the new moon and over the weekend. And we've got the 7-7 portal as well on Sunday. You know, this is very much a time um, of this beautiful divine feminine mother energy. That mother archetype is being activated or strengthened um, or upgraded. And it's because we need it so, so much. You know, we all, regardless of our situations, sort of, you know, at a personal level, um, you know, we all yearn to be mothered. We all yearn to be held, to be soothed, to be nurtured, to be nourished. You know, that is part of being human. That's what we are all craving. And, you know, for many, many reasons, you know, whether it's personal circumstances, whether, you know, it's the age, it's the stage you are in life, you know, so many of us are simply not getting that. And, you know, it, um, you know, for, for so many, that then creates the disconnection from themselves and from that mother love. Um, I'm not really talking necessarily about your own mother. I'm talking about that universal mother love. But of course, you know, we, we seek it from our own mothers as well. Um, but when we're disconnected from that, you know, that can create sort of the sense of abandonment, sense of rejection, sense of loss, um, sense of grief. Um, and, you know, that then can lead to, you know, in its lower expressions, fear, hate, um, that separation sort of energy, which is really hard to navigate um, because we have forgotten that, you know, we are part of source energy. So, um, yeah, what came through was that this energy is being activated this sort of over the coming days with this new moon to really sort of help us to you know, connect more with the mother energy and with what it is that we are all so desperately in need of. And, you know, it's um 
we also have, you know, this Sirius A um, Stargate portal energy and Sirius A, again, I talked about this energy in my new moon video, but, you know, this is the spiritual warrior. This is the seeker, the mystic, um, very much, you know, healing energy, all about light and um, Sirius being our spiritual sun. But I get the sense with this, it's not about sort of the spiritual warrior having to fight and having to, you know, have conflict. It is a real sort of softly, softly, but very strong, but soft, soft, gentle approach, which is kind of coming in underneath from the sort of inside out. And again, I've talked about this inside out energy as well. Um so, um, yeah, that's coming in and it's kind of this undercurrent and it's getting stronger. So, again, you know, that is really, really, really beautiful. Um, but, yeah, we are, you know, in this time where, you know, it's so important to come within. I've said that already a few times. But to connect with that inner light and find the sanctuary and the safety and that stillness and that sort of protective energy that you carry within, that we all carry within, that perhaps, you know, we've become disconnected to or forgotten about because we're so programmed and conditioned and encouraged to look outside of the self, you know, to follow that guru, to do this program, you know, whatever it is, it's like everything is kind of forcing us out, but actually this is the time to come with in and to connect with that beautiful stillness and you know we can all soothe ourselves ultimately we have that ability um so yeah that's kind of what's coming through and of course just going back to the um retrogrades in pisces you know they are creating a this you know need to come within and to kind of find your own spiritual guru and your own spiritual mastery and kind of that spiritual coming of age energy with Saturn in Pisces but um there is also this kind of real um sort of very elusive energy nothing is tangible nothing is sort of um fixed or certain at the moment you know there is no definition there is no structure with the strong retrograde pisces energy it's like there is so much water and water is everywhere it's almost as if you know we are out at sea um to a, a great extent and of course you know while that can be very comforting because we all come from water, the water's in the womb, you know, it is also an expanse. It's hard to see land. It's hard to sort of see where we're going. Um, so, you know, it is very, um, it is unsettling. There's no doubt about that. Um, so again, I just wanted to kind of acknowledge that as well. Um, you know, so if you are feeling that, you know, you don't, maybe you've even lost connection to who you are and, you know, you feel like your identity is dissolving, it's everything is dissolving. And that, again, is part of the process. Um, but it's about trusting that that is part of the process and not stepping into fear as a result of it. Um, but, you know, as it all dissolves, it kind of everything will melt away and we'll be left with this blank slate from which we can create something really beautiful and something really new and exciting as well. So, again, it is part of the process. Just looking at my notes to make sure. Um, the other thing that I just noticed in the chart is that um, Lilith is conjunct the South Node today. So Lilith represents where we may feel shame, where we have suppressed, um, where we have our shadow, you know, um, where we have felt rejected. And, you know, Lilith is feels scorned, feels um, sort of wounded. And when she is conjunct the South Node in Libra, 10 degrees of Libra, which is all about sort of looking at where we've come from, what are we letting go of, what are we moving away from, what have we outgrown, you know, and Lilith is highlighting this. Um, so, you know, this is sort of shame and repression through codependency, through relationships with people, with situations, with ideas even that no longer serve us, that are not serving our greatest good. Um, Libra is also about justice as well, fairness, equality, balance, peace. So again, if there is any part of your life, either personally or collectively, that is not... Um, sort of giving you that sense of peace and that balance and harmony. And there are situations where that, you know, things are unjust. And of course, you know, that's kind of 
path, the course in this human world. You know, again, this light is being shone on that. And, um, you know, there's a real sort of... Um, yeah, need to really dig down and to release some of that shame and that sort of feeling of repression and rejection. And Jupiter, quite helpfully, is in a trine because Jupiter's at nine degrees of Gemini. So this is um this trine of air energy kind of, again, just bringing through new information, new insight, new ideas, which are going to help grow and give you that freedom, that release, because Jupiter is also very much about freedom. So bringing in new belief systems to release us from sort of codependent relationships, situations which are unjust or unfair, out of balance, situations where we may have, you know, felt shame or been ashamed or had to repress our true feelings. Um, you know, and again, shadow work is a big part of that. So it's not necessarily the easiest time, um, but, you know, there is just this beautiful kind of undercurrent of this really soft cleansing flowing um you know if you think um it doesn't feel you know yes there's a lot of water but i'm not getting the sense of huge waves um but again you know you can manifest how you want the water to appear whether it's big waves that are going to create you know some quite big drama or whether it is sort of still but again there is movement there is flow it is not static at all um so try and find the time today and over the weekend to connect with the stillness to be your own cocoon and um, get into water if you can as well that feels really important you know lucky you if you live near the ocean or a river or a stream or a lake um i don't so i might have to make do with the bath but you know we do we do what we do um and you know rest again you know it is a time to rest as well because there is a lot going on energetically and our bodies are you know, finding it quite challenging, quite finding it quite hard. Um, so again, yeah, but Sirius is going to help us to see the magic in things, you know, even when it might seem dark, you might, you know, whatever. <laughs> I'm kind of thinking about politics again. I don't want to think about politics, but you know, it is about seeing the magic and the potential and having that bigger picture as well, which is so needed right now. So, um, yeah, tune into that beautiful mother energy because, you know, she wants to support, to nurture, to hold, to soothe. Um, and, you know, it is available sometimes, you know, you may feel that if you're on your own, um, that, you know, you don't have access to that, but you do, it's there and yeah. Um, I've shown that really strong this morning and it was really emotional. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to share. So thanks for watching and um, have an amazing weekend, whatever you're doing and sending lots of love.